I was looking at some usage data Excel recently and I was suspicious about some of the data points so I wanted to understand where the source was so I got back to the person I said hey where did this come from and they said yeah I don't know so I had to go and email someone find out how it was created and then it turns out they had helpfully curated the data in a way that made it completely unusable for what I wanted to do with it and it took a week to find out this has happened to us all and this is why I'm not surprised that unity catalogs lineage feature is so popular let me show you what it does. I found this useful claim insights table. If I go and look in the catalog, I head to the lineage tab and I get a few things. One, I see the tables that are either upstream or downstream. I can see two upstream, so it's probably created from a join. I can see any notebooks that were run to create the table. I can also see if it's linked to any workflows, if it's being read from or written to as part of a job. Pipelines are for Delta Live tables. Dashboards are for dashboards. Paths is for file locations you might read from. Queries are any DP SQL queries that use it and models are any that are used in inference. But that's not all. If I head to this blue button on the top right, I can see this all as a graph. Not only can I expand them to see the whole thing, I can expand the table to get to the column level. If I select something on a column, I can see which table it came from and whether it gets used in the next downstream table. If I'm trying to find the source of something, I can click through to find the source, then open the table to inspect some more. Now, this UI and clicking is wonderfully visual, but sometimes you want to do this en masse. And for that, you should turn on system tables so that you can go through this programmatically. This is a Unity Catalog feature, so to have this all automatically generated for you, you will need to have Unity Catalog along with using Spark. To view the lineage, you'll need to have the right permissions to browse through the tables. History for lineage lasts a year, but if you wanted to keep it longer than that for audit reasons, turn on system tables and take a clone every few months. If you like Databricks and want to see what else is hot data in AI, follow for more.